Hey everyone, it's Jason. Uh, welcome to the One Piece card game. Uh, so here we have the four starter decks. Straw Hat Crew, uh, the Seven Warlords of the Sea, uh, the Worst Generation, and the Animal Kingdom Pirates. Uh, I am going to do two other videos where I go over uh, decks one and two, and then second video doing three and four. Uh, but this video, I was going to kind of go over the basis of what the game was, so I don't have to do that in both of them videos, so they only end up being super long. Um, alright, so we're going to kind of slide those sides. These are Bandai. This is the same, same, uh, company that made the Dragon Ball Super game, which I've done a bunch of videos about before. Um, so as we'll probably maybe buy some packs of these, we'll kind of go over those. But for now, we're going to look at this. So what is the game essentials in here? We have one leader card. Um, a deck made of 50 cards of the same color as your leader. So this is definitely a big difference than the Dragon Ball Z set where you can mix and match all the different colors. Here you have to have them all from the same color. Uh, no more than four cards with the same card number. Um, and that's basically say so I can have multiple Luffy cards or Zolo cards or whoever. I just can't have them. They have the exact same card number. And a special Don deck um, containing 10 Don cards. So in the starter deck here, all 10 cards are the same. I don't know if um, in the in the trading card as you buy the expansion packs or in the other different decks. Um, so I haven't looked at them if they have um, different effects or anything on them. But all 10 of these cards are the same. I don't see any like, card numbers on them. So I'm going to assume they're always the same. Um... And you're going to have those decks with Don cards just look like this. They have a green back on there to differentiate from your dark blue deck. Um, which your leader will have a red card. So it's nice to help keep them cards very separate by looking at the back of your cards. So it gets shuffled. Your deck will have three types of cards. Character cards, event cards, and stage cards. Um... Yeah, so that's that's basically your deck. So you're gonna have game preparation. This is gonna show what you're gonna do is place your well shuffled dot deck and don cards in their designated areas. So you're gonna have your big area here, you have character area, you have your leader area, your stage area. Um your stage area will only come when you actually get it and play it. Your leader will start and play though. Um and then you draw five cards from the top of your deck. You may choose to shuffle your cards back into your hand and redraw five. You can only do it once. So you get a free mulligan every game. That's kind of fun. Uh, place your life cards equal to the value of your leader from the top of your deck on your life area. Um, the first player goes first. Um, so that's kind of neat. So you have a life deck over on the side. Um, and it'll be based on your character's life. So Luffy here, who's our main character for this set, who has five life. So you do five cards for your life total. Um, so other characters may have more or less life, which is kind of a fun aspect. So everyone doesn't start with the same. Um, I don't, I don't know if all the starter decks do. They're probably different characters. Maybe some that have a little bit more, um, have like lesser abilities or some that have higher abilities. It'll be interesting to see that. Um, so on the back side of the sheet that came in here, we have that. So it's going to show your life total, um, Shut off your cost errors. You're basically showing that thing we just looked at. They are character cards. So you can play up to five character cards. Characters cannot attack on the turn they were played. Um, and then here we'll go through your five main steps. Refresh, draw, dawn phase, main phase, and end phase. So like most card games, the first couple of phases go really quickly. Refresh, draw, done are probably just stuff you'll just instantly do. And then your main phase is basically where you do all your main things and then end phase is just clean up. So let's kind of look at those different phases here. So we have refresh step. Um, so we turn all attached Don cards on your field to your cost area and then reset or all rested cards in your field that's active. So all your, so I love this, the way they do it. So the, all the orange go to the orange step. Um, so all your Don cards that were attached to your characters, which are essentially boost cards, go back to your cost area. And then any cards that were rested or had been used, go back to active. Um, so again, really quick draw phase, draw one card from the top of your tech. Players going first do not draw on their first turn, which is typical of most card games. The Don phase. Place two Don cards from the top of your Don deck in your cost area face up. 
player playing first mail will play one Don card. So, start of the game, you're going to play two. Basically, the cost is what you're going to use to pay for your cards. So, you have ten cards in there, and you're going to get two to begin with, and then every turn you can place two more. So, as you keep going through, eventually that Don deck will run out. Um, but you're going to keep getting these cards. So it's kind of a fun thing versus um, something like the, compared to, again, like the Dragon Ball Z game, where you have to spend cards from your special cards from your deck. To, uh, or any card from your deck to play as basically your energy or your cost cards. Here you have a special deck just for that. So you can just focus on your cards. Um, it says, in your main phase, anytime you may perform one through four actions in any order as many times as you want. You can play a card. Play cards by resting Don cards in your cost area equal to the cost of your cards. So like here they're showing this uh, card cost three. You can turn three of your Don cards from upright to horizontal um to use them uh then cards are trashed after they're spent so character cards go into your character zone event cards are one-time use um you can attach don cards attach don cards to an active state to your leader or character cards so this is where the game gets really interesting so it gives you 1000 power um when a card with guys attached it leaves the field the attached don cards are rested and placed in your cost area so your don cards work as your ability to pay for your cards but if you decide hey i don't need to pay anymore or i need to attack higher you can instead boost your characters with these cards it's kind of a neat little gimmick um again the dragon ball z had like watch the characters had like boosts on the side of their cards so this is like essentially taking that concept out of that so you don't have to play worry about you have a character card in your hand you're going to get to play that character card um you don't have to worry about trying to use that as a boost or not or maybe including a, a character that has a lesser ability because they have a good boost here they're just like nope we got these don cards um again you can do this in any order so you can attach a don card to a character but now you you're down one to be able to uh pay a card with so then later you can't play a card but if you play too many cards early you won't have any don cards left to attach so it's the you know, back and forth use a card effect this is also where you can use these dons uh by using the effects of the don or leader character use the effects of the leader or character cards on your field by fulfilling fulfilling their conditions it says don x1 can be used if one don card is attached um, so yeah, some of these abilities can only be gained if a character has um, an ability to attack. So like, here we have Usopp here who has Don X2, so he has to have two cards attached to be able to use that ability. We have Don minus one. You can be used if you turn one Don card from your field to your Don deck. Um, so let me see if I have one of those quick. Uh, and it might not even have any in here because it might be specific to certain colors. Um, I'm not for sure. I haven't looked through all these cards yet. Um, I don't see one right away in here. So yeah, it's very possible that this deck doesn't have any. They do that, that might be like, one color does it, one color doesn't. But that's kind of a neat idea, too. Uh, so putting it back in your deck means, now it's not available for you to attach to something. Um, or to use as a play theme, but you have to wait until you can draw it again. So there are ways you might think, well, if you only have ten cards and you're placing two every turn. Um, five turns later, you have all your cards out, no matter what. Except you might have these that keep putting them back in there. Um, and then activate main can be used if you rest one active Don in your cards. This is basically activate, you can pay Don to pay for abilities. So Don can either be attached to a card to activate ability, return from a card, return from anywhere, whether it's on a character or on the play to your deck to be able to pay for a cost or pay it by itself. And then finally, we have the attack area. Um... It says, by resting active character or leader on your field, uh, beware that characters cannot attack on the turn they are played. Uh, players can also attack on their first turn. 
Uh, so then battles are very simple. Um, rest an active character, so turn it sideways. Uh, designate the target it wants to attack when uh, any when attacking effects will activate and resolve after the target is selected. So pick them, chose this guy's leader, or I could choose one of their rested characters. Um, so this is also interesting as you can only attack um, you can only attack a resting character um, or a leader. So the leader is always going to be uh, upright, I believe, but or you can always attack the leader card. So that's what you're trying to defeat. Um, by doing damage to them, reduces their life total. But sometimes you might need to take out your opponent's characters, but you can only take out their resting characters. Um, block a player may a player may attack uh, a player being attacked may activate the character's block blocker ability. So if they have a blocker ability, they can use that. Counter step player being attacked may play a counter card from their hand. So some cards will have counters or events, which you basically play them a little bit quicker. Now here's like that boost I was talking about before with the DBZ kind of has that. So we have uh, Brook here who has a counter. So you can basically play this to gain that counter for 2,000 points. Or we had... I can find him. I had a blocker. Or we had... We have a blocker in here. Uh, we have uh, Chopper, who has a blocker. It says, after your opponent declares an attack, you may rest this card to make it your target of the new attack. So basically, you can force them to attack your card instead. Uh, then the damage step is just compare the power of the attacking card and the defending card. The attacking card will win if the power is greater or equal to the card being attacked, leading to the one of these results. If a leader is attacked, the, leader, the defeated leader takes one damage. If a character is attacked, the defeated character is KO'd and trash. If the attacking character is defeated, nothing happens. So, basically, if your power is bigger than your the opponent's leaders, you do damage to them. But sometimes you might want to take out their characters, so that, that way they're not using their extra abilities, or they can't attack you instead. Um, you know, because they might have uh, counters, or blockers, or whatever other abilities you might just want to get rid of first. Um, if your allies are bigger than them, if for some reason they end up being bigger than you because they play a blocker with a higher cost or a counter boosted them up, um, it doesn't matter. It doesn't hurt you. You don't lose anything. Other than the fact is now your character isn't doing anything. Uh, it says, when your leader takes damage, add one card from your life to your hand. If that card has the trigger, you may reveal the card and activate its trigger effect. If the player doesn't have any cards in their life area, they lose the game. So that's basically how it is. Attack your opponent's leader to beat them. Um, boost up your characters using other cards and things. So, alright, let's take a look at our cards. Uh, watch it. We'll take a look at our cards. We'll take a look in the thing. But So, just a quick run through on this. So, I have a leader card in here. You do get a couple of foil cards. Get a bunch of your character cards. So not everyone's going to always have four. Um, but then we have our... Uh, our event or our effect cards, event cards, and our stage cards. So I'm not going to go through every card in here. I just want to look at the different um, information on each of these cards. And then we can jump into the... Uh, then we'll end this video and you can check out the full unboxings in the other videos. So, in the bottom corner down here, of course we have Weeder. Monkey D. Luffy is his name. His team are Supernovas and Straw Hats. So, my assumption is there's going to be cards that might mention what crew someone is part of. Um, give them bonuses. He has 5,000 attack up here. And he has a type in the corner called Strike, which is yellow. Uh, so it's kind of hard to see on that card, but we'll have like... Usopp here will have like a ranged, um, or we have uh, Kuru here which has strike. Uh, we have Nami with a special, uh, Robin with wisdom which is green. Uh, Vivi with a blue splash, or sorry, slash. Sorry, help if I can learn how to read. So we have all these different colored types. Um, 
So they must have some sort of effect on abilities. Um, and they might also kind of, you know, maybe link into the different colored cards is very possible as well. Um, so Luffy has his wife in the in the bottom corner. Then he has his ability. He has activate main. He can do some stuff. Um, and on the bottom corner, that little wheel there at the one color. So let's grab a different colored card just to show the difference. So y'all, here's a regular Usopp character. Straw Hat Crew, he still has a little color wheel on the bottom. Has his power, his type, um, but does not have life total in here. He also has a counter on the side and a cost of two. Um, this particular one also has that trigger ability. So if he's in your life, that will help there. Um, so yeah, we don't have... So we do have like a regular Luffy. So I can play Luffy with another Luffy. Because um, all that matters is they have different card numbers. And this is starter set one, number 12. Um... And it looks like all these cards might be starter set exclusive characters. So I was just trying to check. Sure looks like it. Um, Alright, so then our other type of cards is we'll have the event. So it's kind of the same basic thing. Um, guard point. It's going to have keywords, animal, and straw hat crew because it's showing chopper on there. Um, cost up at the top. You know, all your symbols. C for common. Uh, I'm guessing the little, uh, doubt, double fruit, yeah, um, uh, on the bottom is, the one is probably saying it's a first edition printing, um, hey, you can pay for this, use a counter, or you can use it as a trigger, uh, but we'll have some other different ones like that, yeah, so if we look at this one, we have, hard to tell, my camera doesn't want to focus on anything ever, in the bottom corner there, it says SR for super rare uh, for that. And then those are the foil cards. Um, now we have a bunch of commons. Um, and then the leader card was just listed as L for leader. Doesn't even have a rarity. Um, yeah, I can't really get that to focus well, especially these foils. So then the last card type we want to look at are our stage cards. So when these come out, they'll go in the stage area. Um, to Thousand Sunny, Straw Hat Crew, and it'll just give you an active ability during your main. They might have other different abilities based on the different things. So yeah, you're getting those three different card types. Your characters, your um, events, and possibly stage cards. Now there's only one stage card in this set. Uh, there's two copies, but there's only uh, this one type. So I don't know how many you're going to want to include in your deck. Um, but that is what we have for the One Piece How to Play. Um, yeah, very briefly, just kind of goes back and forth. Um, again, getting them Don cards every turn for your energy, and then they have other effects. Really makes you focus on your resource management that way. But I like the idea that you don't have to decide um, what cards are in your hand. Because I, I don't... That, that's one thing like Magic the Gathering, um, where it has its land cards. It's people are like, oh, it takes up room in your deck and does this. Sometimes you get mana screwed because you don't have enough land cards. So you can't play stuff or you have too many. You're not getting your other cards. And I'd say these other games tried to find ways around that by having cards you just play cards from your hand um and i was like that's fine but i've never liked the idea of having to um pay for cards out of my hand like basically this card in my hand is just being used for um to pay for something i put it in there because i needed to pay for things like it's not really actually being utilized for anything else i so this is kind of a neat little gimmick for the deck um not sure if it's going to be super great or not because you're using them as multiple other reasons. Uh, so you have to manage that. But it's definitely a little bit different way to play it without having to, uh, like, uh, like versus system where you can play any card face down in your thing, but then you don't have access to them cards anymore. That was always the my issue with spending cards from your deck to pay for other cards. Yes, any card could be used as a cost. But then you don't get that card anymore. Um, 
so here kind of every card in your deck is a valid card that you're going to get to use. So that's kind of cool. Except for your life total, which are those five, you five, six, or four to six, or however many life points you have, you might lose. But you have a chance to get them back, kind of like Pokemon. Um, but at least they have abilities. But unlike Pokemon, you get the card back versus your opponent getting them. All right, that's what we have for that. Check out the two videos on uh, the unboxings where we will go over deck one and two, which are the Straw Hat Crew and the Green The Worst Generation. And then video two will be set three, the Seven Warlords of the Sea, which is the blue set, and the Animal Kingdom Pirates, which is set number four. Um, and then to also note, there are, on the bottom of this card, there is a slot for six colors. So, we'll have, so there's only four starter decks with four colors, so we'll have to see what the other two colors are if I buy some sets. Alright, see you guys later. Bye!